Think about what you were doing three weeks ago. Now, if you could have lost five pounds between then and now, would you have done it? Well, guess what? You're going to get that opportunity with this video because I'm going to show you how to do exactly that and all you're going to have to do is just one thing. What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. So today I'm going to help you to lose weight. That's right, and it's going to be very simple because I'm only going to ask you to do one thing for me. Now, if you are to the point where you are seriously struggling with food because you have a food addiction, guys, that's a very serious matter, and getting the appropriate help there is going to be the right move for you. If you have a healthier relationship with food but just struggle to lose weight, well then what I'm going to show you here is going to work for you, I promise. Quick shameless plug, for those who haven't checked out the March issue of Men's Health Magazine, please do so because inside is yours truly. If you like face pulls and muscle markers, you're going to be happy. So you may have heard about something called time-restricted eating, better known as intermittent fasting. Well, that's when people are given a window within which to eat in a 24-hour period. Let's say six hours of eating opportunity and 18 hours where you cannot eat. This is not what that is. Instead, this is called time-prescriptive eating. And what we're talking about is eating around the clock. And what I do, guys, is I prescribe a time for you to eat throughout the day. Now, I don't care what you're eating right now, because the beauty about this method is it actually doesn't matter. It's going to be a self-regulating, self-correcting method if you do this appropriately. But you cannot change the rule that is you need to eat at a specific time every two and a half hours throughout the day. That is the rule. That's the only thing you have to do for me. How would this play out? Well, let's say you have to eat breakfast. Now, don't worry if you don't like breakfast foods. You can eat whatever you like in the morning, but you have to eat at, let's say, 8 o'clock. Now, two and a half hours later, you're going to have to eat again at, let's say, 10.30. Then, two and a half hours after that, you're going to have to eat again at 1 o'clock. One more time in the afternoon at 3.30. And then, of course, from here, you're going to have to eat at 6 o'clock and wrap around one more time to 8.30, and that concludes your eating for the day. Now, one thing this is not is this is not a bodybuilder approach to eating. I'm not talking about the anabolic benefits of eating six times a day. If I can tell you an embarrassing story, please let me do so. I actually remember leaving parties to go out to my car to have a protein shake that I had been kept on ice because I was afraid I was going to become catabolic and start losing muscle if I didn't eat every two and a half hours. Luckily, science has shown us the truth, and we know better than that now, so that's not necessary. However, what this does is it starts to institute a few different things. Most of all, it teaches you how to eat. Look, anybody can be told what to eat. But when you don't know how to eat, you're never going to be armed with the tools to be successful for the rest of your life. So what we get from this is we start to learn portion control, what is and is not hunger, and also what foods do a better job of keeping you full. So let's say we go back to this equation. You start to eat, and you eat way too much in the morning. Well, what we find is that at 8 o'clock time, when I wrap around to 10.30, I just can't eat. So we self-correct. We start to decrease the amount of food that we eat at 8 o'clock in the morning so that we can accommodate that other meal. Remember, one rule in place. You must eat when it's time to eat. At that point, we still have to be expected to eat again at 1 o'clock. Well, maybe I'm not hungry. Well, either I ate too much at 8 o'clock that still left me rather full at 10.30. That leaves me too full to eat at 1 o'clock. Once again, I back-regulate and I start to decrease the amount of food that I take in here. As those portion sizes go down, you might find that you're going to start to make different food choices. You're going to want to choose more proteins and fewer of the high calorically dense foods. So more of the fibrous carbohydrates that are going to be lower in calories but more filling. That will help to get you to that next time frame. So more satiety in that short time frame and then carry it over to still allow you to be hungry when that next time frame rolls around. And of course, we talk about confusing our hunger. What does it mean? Sometimes we think that we're hungry when we're actually thirsty. So another thing we can do is just simply add 16 ounces of water. A simple Polo Spring bottle will do the job at every single one of these six meals. That will get you to about 100 ounces of water a day, which is making sure that you're remaining hydrated. And as I said before, guys, the beauty about this time prescriptive eating is that it works for everybody. Anybody can start doing this right now. Just start setting your times and stick to those times as the one and only rule, and the food choices themselves will start to improve. And what's nice about this, as I said, you're going to see quick results, because as you start to stick to this, you're going to become less of a binge eater and more of a timed eater, which is going to help to correct some of those really enormous amounts of calories you're taking in right now to lead to those quick results. And the nice thing about quick results is they become self-profit. 
propagating. You look in the mirror, you say, wow, this is working, you get excited, and you do more of it. And as I mentioned before, maybe that starts to be the introduction of some exercise along with this. Maybe it starts to be you become more committed to actually preparing your foods ahead of time. All those things start to come in phases, but if you do what I'm showing you here, it will work. Guys, if you're looking for a step-by-step -step meal plan, you can find them over at athletics.com. In the meantime, if you're looking for exercise programs as well, they're included there too. Guys, make sure you give this a try. I promise you it will work if you do. I'll be back here again in just a few days with another video. If you haven't done so, click subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video from Athlean X in the future. All right, guys, see you soon.